All right, so today I have another 10 dinner meal plan to share with you as well as a $650 Costco haul. Hey guys, welcome back. In case you're new, my name is Sarah. I am a homeschool mom of five kids and they are ranging in age from toddlers all the way to teens. And so I am feeding a family of seven three meals a day. But that requires a lot of grocery shopping and a lot of meal planning. So today I have 10 dinner ideas for the month of June as well as a $649, $650 grocery haul from Costco to share with you. All right, so it is currently June, summer has officially begun, and I don't know about you guys, but when my kids have more time on their hands, they snack a lot more than usual. They seem like they are always hungry, always in the kitchen, poking around in the pantry, trying to find something to eat. So one of my goals for my shopping trip this month is to find some items that are just easy for them to snack on and grab without much assistance from mom. Speaking of my kids, they are also spending a ton, a ton of time at the pool these days, both of my older kids, my 13 year old and my 12 year old are on swim team. So they have to rise very early every morning to go to swim team practice. And so I would like to have some breakfast options for them that are just kind of grab and go. Yogurts, granola bars, things like that. Items that they can grab and eat on their way to swim practice every morning. Lastly, we have a birthday in the house this month. My daughter Mariah is turning eight and she will be having a birthday party. And so I'm going to be shopping for some items that I can use for just a small family get together. Maybe some pork or meat to throw in the crock pot as well as lots of veggies and fruits and chips and things like that. Just, you know, to make some basic party food. All right, so I'm gonna list out all 10 meals. I will put a graphic right here just so you can write them down if you wanna follow along. Number one is going to be pulled pork. Again, for that birthday party, I'm hoping to find some barbecued pulled pork to be able to throw in the Instant Pot or in the Crock Pot and pair that alongside of veggie trays, fruit trays, chips, dips, things like that. Then moving on to some meals that are gonna be easy to prepare out on the grill. First up, hot dogs. You know, all kids love hot dogs. That is a great and easy meal for the summertime. Next up, barbecue chicken out on the grill. I love to pair this alongside of corn that I buy from our local farm stand and lots of fruits and veggies and, and fresh produce to go along with it. Number four is going to be potato packs. Now, this is something new to me. This is not something I've usually have tried or made before, but I, I'm gonna experiment a little bit. My thought is to get some potatoes from Costco and pair those alongside of maybe onions and corn, maybe some smoked sausages from the freezer, put all of it in a little foil pack, uh, individual for everybody to kind of have their own and grill those up. So we'll, we'll see how the kids like that. If it goes over well, I'll let you know. All right, and then you guys probably know we love salads in our house. We have them probably once a week for dinner. Um, two different salads I'm hoping to make this month is number one, chef salad. Just, you know, I can throw together some lunch meat and cheese and things like that on top of a big bed of salad maybe add some croutons or something fun like that, but chef salads. And then next up, Cobb salads. This is something that's been on my menu plan a lot lately, but Cobb salads, chicken, bacon, boiled eggs, cheese, just, just all the trimmings on top of a bed of lettuce. And then moving on, as you can tell, I have a little bit of a theme here for quick and easy dinners for the summer. Number seven is going to be nachos. I'm hoping to just take a big bag of tortilla chips and top it with ground beef and cheese and avocado, all, all the Mexican trimmings to go along with it. This is something my kids love. If I just make a huge sheet pan of nachos, they, they just think it's great to serve themselves right from the middle of the table. Number eight, staying along that Mexican theme, I'm going to do fish tacos. You guys know that I love the tortilla crusted tilapia from Costco. We love to use that in tacos. So we will probably use some flour tortillas and make up fish tacos. Next up, BLTs. I'm so excited that it is finally tomato season around here. So I will be excited to slice up some heirloom 
tomatoes for some BLT sandwiches one night. And then lastly, along that same vein, chicken salad. And by this I mean, you know, chicken and mayonnaise all mixed up together and put on some toasted bread. That This will be great. Sometimes I like to add grapes or pecans. Um, sometimes I make it a little bit more savory and add dill and mustard. We'll, we'll just see. But chicken salad sandwiches. All right, so let's jump in and see all of the groceries that I purchased to go along with this meal plan. Again, I spent $649 at Costco this month. All right, starting down here on the floor, as per usual, a huge box of diapers for my toddlers. And then our dishwasher is still on the fritz, so I picked up loads of paper plates, plastic cups, and napkins. It was raining when we unloaded groceries, so sorry if these look a little bit wet or have a few drops of water on them. Starting up here on the table, just some miscellaneous items. First of all, they had this three pack of notebooks. They're really, really nice and large, so I'm sure I can use these for all kinds of things, whether for homeschool or just for, you know, everyday life. My husband needed some vitamins. And then this was one of the items that was on sale. I normally would only buy one of these, but they were $8 off for these liquid IVs. So I bought two strawberries and tangerine. So these were $20 each. So that was $60 worth of my bill just in these three packages here. All right, moving on to breakfast items. First of all, just some cold brew coffee back here, as well as just some normal Colombian. And the cold brew is especially nice for the summer. A big bag of their fully cooked chicken sausage links. These are great just to heat up in the microwave for a fast breakfast for the kids. I bought two packages of muffins. They had blueberry and then a new kind apple crumb. So the kids will really enjoy these. I normally cut these in half and throw them in the freezer and then we use them as we need them. A 52 pack of instant oatmeal. So just a couple dozen eggs this time. I should be seeing my sister-in-law this week who has chickens, so I'm sure she'll be bringing me more eggs to add to this as well. Back here, just some grab and go snacks as he actually got into these on the way home. We love these little made good granola minis. These Cliff Bars were on sale this month, and so I picked these up. I thought these might be a great option for my kids when they're needing a fast breakfast before swim practice, as well as these Crunchy Nature Valley granola bars. Here are just these Power Up um, little trail mix pouches, 24 of them. We have tried these before. They're really, really good and super healthy. Continuing on that grab and go theme, here are just some sharp cheddar jack cheese sticks as well as these fruit and nut and cheese packs. We have never tried these before, but again, I thought these would be good for the kids to grab and take to the pool. Hidden in the back here are two jars of the Kirkland Organic Strawberry Jam or Spread. These were on sale this month, so I grabbed two. Some more grab and go breakfast options. Here are some protein yogurts, and then I also picked up a two pack of this uh, Quaker's Simply Granola. The kids really like this to put on top of their yogurt cups. As always, I picked up a box of the fruit and vegetable pouches as well as the apple sauces for my toddlers. And then here are just kind of some sweet treats that I bought just for fun. First of all, these are these oatmeal dark chocolate chunks or cookies. These are gluten-free and dairy-free, so these will be a good snack for my child who is taking a break from gluten and dairy right now. And then these are a favorite for Justin and I, these Sanders sea salt caramels. Oh my gosh, they're so good. As you can see, summer is coming, so I went ahead and picked up a big box of these drumsticks that were on sale just as kind of a fun dessert treat for the kids for the first few weeks of summer. Along with that, I went ahead and picked up a two pack of these Hershey's syrup. These will be great to put on top of ice cream or to make chocolate milk. Peanuts, we buy about one of these a month and use these for snacks. And then all kinds of chips, a big bag of tortilla chips some just normal Himalayan salt chips. These pretzel crisps were on sale. I think they were maybe $3.99 for this bag, so this was a splurge item this month. And then, oh my gosh, these are my, my new favorite snack, these jalapeno lime chips. They taste like 
kind of like a spicy Dorito. Oh. Moving on to lunch and dinner items. First of all, I have a big package of these Hebrew National hot dogs. We will probably be able to make hot dogs for two dinners this month with these. I also picked up this roasted turkey breast lunch meat. We can use this for sandwiches or on top of a salad. And then we have been loving these fully cooked chicken breast bites. These are great for a fast lunch option if we just wanna have some chicken to throw on top of a salad or to make some chicken salad real quick or something like that. I always pick these up for my toddlers, these little avocado mashes, but honestly, everybody in the house likes to eat these. You guys know we love their tortilla crusted tilapia. We'll use this to make fish tacos. And then two packages of their pulled pork with barbecue sauce. I'm going to throw this in the crock pot and serve it at a birthday party. To go along with that, just some sharp cheddar cheese slices. There are 44 pieces of cheese in here, so th there, there's a lot of cheese. Ezra will be happy. I picked up another container of these dill pickle chips. And then a two pack of barbecue sauce. We will use this for barbecue chicken and all kinds of grilling this summer. Frozen broccoli florets to use as a side dish. I normally like to roast these in the oven. Some mayonnaise to make chicken salad and just for sandwiches and burgers and all kinds of things like that. Back here is pasta. We normally have spaghetti or some type of pasta at least once a week around here. Gluten-free chicken nuggets for a fast dinner or a lunch option. And then of course, shredded cheese, Ava's favorite. Laundry detergent, because you know, we do about 10 or 12 loads of laundry around here every week. And then buns galore, hot dog buns, and then two different, oh, vitamins just fell. And then two different packages of hamburger buns. All right, and then for produce, I did not pick up as much as usual. First of all, they just didn't have as nice of a selection this time around. And then also our farm stand just opened up down the street. So I will be buying a good bit of produce from them, as well as our garden is now starting to produce lettuce and kale and things like that. So I'm able to supplement from the farm stand and from our own backyard. But to get started here, just a big bag of mandarin oranges or clementines. We go through about a bag of these a week. Two packages of raspberries. These will probably be gone by tomorrow. Six pounds of bananas. A couple of pounds of blueberries. Some celery sticks, as well as some carrots for our veggie trays. Avocados, a bag of their little potato company potatoes. I am planning on using these to make those potato pouches out on the grill and then just a big bag of bell peppers. All right, guys, well, that is the grocery haul. That is the meal plan. As I said before, I spent right around $650 at Costco. Now, there were some items in that grocery haul that you saw that weren't necessarily groceries, paper products, diapers, things like that. So, so that total is actually a little bit high. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please take a second, like, subscribe, comment. Doing all of these things really helps our channel to grow here on YouTube. I hope that your guys' summer is off to a great start. See you later.